The singer Robin Thicke hasn't released music in five years. He hasn't had a hit song in six years. He hasn't had a hit song since 2013 when Blurt Lines was released. It went to number one on the Billboard charts for 12 weeks. The song profited over $10 million in profits. But what destroyed his career was the lawsuit that was waged against him by the Marvin Gaye family. They accused Robin Thicke of stealing the song You Got to Give It Up by Marvin Gaye. Now, if you listen to the song Give It Up by Marvin Gaye and you listen to Blurred Lines, the only similarities of both songs is the beat of the song the instrumental of the song. The lyrics of both songs are completely different. Now, if you listen to most popular music nowadays, most of the popular songs on the radio are using beats from popular songs from 20, 30, 40 years ago. But I don't understand why they singled out Robin Thicke. When this lawsuit happened, there were a lot of people on social media accusing Robin Thicke of being a racist and stealing music from Marvin Gaye. I don't think he stole music from Marvin Gaye. Pharrell is the one who wrote and produced the song. All Robin Thicke did was sing the song. So when I saw a lot of pro blacks on social media accusing Robin Thicke of being a racist who's stealing money from a legend like Marvin Gaye, I just thought that was completely ignorant. All Robin Thicke did was sing the song. He didn't write the song. He didn't produce the song. Pharrell produced and wrote the song. Let's make that perfectly clear. And these are two completely different songs. The lyrics are completely different. The only thing that's the same is the instrumental. Pharrell used the instrumental from Give It Up and put it on Blurred Lines. That's the only similarities. So I really don't think the, I really don't think the Marvin Gaye children, the Marvin Gaye family had a lawsuit in this case. But they they won the lawsuit. And the judge rewarded them $5.3 million. And this lawsuit pretty much destroyed Robin Thicke's career. A lot of people stopped listening to his music. A lot of people stopped buying his music. And when he released his follow-up album after Blurt Lines, it flopped. His last album was in 2014, titled Paula, named after his ex-wife. And this album completely flopped. It didn't sell anything. Now his first five albums all sold platinum. Robin Thicke started singing in the early 2000s and his first five albums all sold platinum. He had a lot of success during the early 2000s with the wave of blue eyed soul. We had a lot of R&B white singers in the early 2000s. Justin Timberlake, Robin Thicke. There were a number of uh, blue-eyed soul R&B singers during the early 2000s. And Robin Thicke was one of the most successful. But this lawsuit pretty much destroyed his career. It's the reason why he hasn't released any music in over five years. So I'm a huge fan of his music. I think he's a great singer. And I think he's gotten a I think he's gotten a lot of bad flack from people. I think he's gotten a lot of of flack that he shouldn't be getting. Because most music artists use instrumentals from the past. Most music artists in today's music use tracks and use instrumentals from popular songs from 30 and 40 years ago. 
So I don't understand why everybody singled out Robin Thicke as if he's the only one doing this. As if he's the only one that's done this. If you listen to the radio, if you listen to the popular songs on social media, most of these songs are using samples, are using instrumentals and samples from from the past, from the 80s, from the 90s. So it blows me away how everybody is singling out Robin Thicke. I don't think this should have destroyed his career. So I hope he gets his career back on track. I hope he he releases some new music. I'm a huge fan of his music. He's a great singer. He's a great musician. He's great at playing the piano. But hopefully he can get his career back on track. He's going to be getting married. He's going to be having a baby with a new wife because... He divorced Paula Patton in 2014, if I do believe so. And it seems like he has a certain type of woman that he dates. It seems like he's attracted to the biracial, light-skinned black women. Every man has a taste of the type of women they like. And he seems to like these types of women. Because his new, his new wife looks exactly like Paula Patton. She looks exactly like Paula Patton. But like I said, every man has his taste in what he likes, what he's attracted to. He likes light-skinned black women. That's what he's attracted to. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I I, I wish him the best. I hope he comes out with some new music. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.